Hello. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people online saying that Pavlov is a game that's past its heyday. But if that's true, then this is Pavlov's greatest swan song ever. You see, there's this new map, and it might be the best map I've ever played for this game. It's called Resurgence, and it's sort of like Escape from Tarkov, but in VR. And I've never played Escape from Tarkov, but hear me out. Like in Tarkov, the main goal is to go out into the world, grab guns, money, loot, whatever you can, and take it back to base by going to an extraction point. You'll encounter strangers along the way whose intentions are probably violent. Hi, you'd be friendly. No, we can't. If you manage to survive, you can find an extraction point. And when you escape, you get to keep all your loot for the next time. There's been other game modes like this in Pavlov that I adored. One was called Pavz, where you actually had to find ammo. But in Resurgence, you have infinite. And you find a lot more guns because of that too. The real beauty is in the polish and the detail that goes into making this map work. Every time you die, or extract, you're transported to this room with other people, some of whom you've recently killed, or killed you recently, so you can imagine there's trash talking, but you have a storage locker where you can keep your guns for the next time just by chucking them in this bin hole. You can even buy guns and drugs here. I inject myself in the face. Oh. Wow. And the stock changes daily. It really activates the same hoarding reflex that Skyrim does, where all I want to do is be a little loot goblin and collect all the guns just in case I need them and, you know, end up never using them. I've seen people trading guns, gifting other people guns, talking about how much money they've made in the game. I've seen alliances forming, alliances breaking. It's really a beautiful thing. When you want to deploy, you have a map in the plane to see exactly where you'll be dropping. And the map is actually really detailed. There's a lot of different areas you can choose to drop to. There's even periodic loot boxes that you can choose to pursue that happen randomly across the map. Ooh. Holy you take, crap. You take first pick. I like this gun. Okay. If you're going for risky plays, there's a bunker in the middle of the map with a lot of loot, but it's probably full of people. I don't need and it. It can be a lot of fun rushing the bunker with a hastily okay. made ally to your almost yes, certain doom. I hear somebody. <laughs> if you asked me when I was a kid if I ever imagined I would be able to strap a toaster to my face and enter virtual reality with a bunch of other nerds and commit virtual crimes against humanity, well, I don't know what I'd tell you. Hey, 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 I'm fit. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Oh, that was a war crime. One down. You motherfucker! Ah! That hurt!
Fuck you! Holy shit. Also, unlike Pav-Z, there are no bots here. All the gameplay and all the best moments come from interacting with other people. There's a fear of encountering a dangerous stranger, or even more realistically, being killed by the enemy you didn't even see because you were just stomping around like an idiot, whimsically looting, and you had the jump scare of your life. Boys! And let me be the first to tell you, being slaughtered in VR feels way different than in normal games. <laughs> like it almost feels personal, like you've really been shot in the face, and uh, I, it feels like an insult. But those feelings extend to guns too. You really feel like a gunslinging badass when you pull something off, and it's fun because it's Pavlov, and Pavlov feels good to play. You get all the strangeness you'd expect in an online open mic lobby. <laughs> You're so beautiful. What the fuck? <laughs> but I've also found some really nice people. Ta da! You, me. Sort of like... <laughs> no? No, 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 no. And this guy was mute, but he communicated with me by pointing at the letters on this board to spell out FRIEND. And before you know it, we were buddies and we played a couple rounds together. FRIEND. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're friends. Let's get out, yeah! There's a couple of rare drops too. You can get key cards to open up crates at certain locations on the map, or bombs to open up vaults. All of this combines together to make something pretty beautiful, I think. Well, minus all the murder. Oh no! Oh shit! Good lord! <laughs> Holy shit! Anyways, if you ever play Pavlov and hop on the server and see me, I hope you say hi. Uh, maybe I'll get the chance to blow my head off, that would be nice. But I just recently got my microphone working in-game, and I've already made some friends, and I'm sure I'll be playing probably at least every weekend. I hope this video made you cackle or guffaw at least once. Leave a like and comment if you want to show your support. I'm planning on releasing more videos in the future for other games, possibly more VR games. Please remember to love yourself and treat others with kindness, and good night, or a morning, depending on where you are. Look like you're telling a secret. I didn't know a secret. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to kiss you.